And then the fourth leg is a process for creating and measuring and sustaining quality. Uh, how many of you all have, are familiar with QI nurses or QI, you know, they're the person that goes around. We always localize and create a silo out of everything, which is part of what we're trying to overcome. QI, how many people love QI? Okay. You know, uh, are you a QI person? Okay. That's usually the person that loves QI is the QI person. Nobody else likes it. Okay. And, what, and they're usually able to like you, but they, uh, it depends on how you do it, but they don't like it. And it's because it's a human nature thing. I, why would you like it? We treat it as kind of an inspection system to go around and measure. Really good QI people uh, teach more than they measure uh, or use the measure as a teaching tool and then bring resources to help them increase. But most really just measure and report. And then people don't know what to do with it except feel bad about themselves. Uh, so uh, this system is not a QI <laughs> system that there's a person that goes around. It too is a team function teaches people how to create the outcomes and the processes, how to measure them, and then how to improve them. And uh, there's not a product out there like it that we're aware of, but uh, it measures the traditional things that we need to have, again, like pressure ulcers and pain management, and those, but it also measures how you feel about you and your circumstances. It measures facial affect. Uh, th there's research, and it, they're all evidence-based, but it measures things like the look on my face over a period of time. Am I smiling? Am I vacant? Am I frustrated? Uh, those are great indicators that reflect the culture of the organization. 